Hi, everyone. Dale Shabijan here with Jane Ward. Hi, Jane. How are you today? Doing great. How are you, Dale? Great, thanks. We're talking about our upcoming uh, Cape Cod Technology Council event uh, on air quality. It's a special event that the team's been working hard on. Had a lot of requests about it. It's a real big issue. And um, Jane, you've been so gracious enough to participate and really help form this event. Tell us... uh, what are we missing about air quality? What, what are we going to hear? Like, give us an idea of what, what this uh, talk is going to be about. If you... I think the, the main reason we, we we're focusing on air quality right now is the COVID pandemic has really highlighted the danger uh, or the risk, maybe sounds a little softer, of people meeting together indoors mm-hmm. and particularly in closed areas that may not have good ventilation. And over the the last year of this pandemic, we've noticed that when people get together in groups indoors, there seems to be a much higher incidence of super spreader events of this virus. Okay, great. So the problem, I I think what I'm hearing, it's kind of been there all along, but it's been exacerbated by, or kind of brought to a head, sort of like the iceberg metaphor, right? Right, yep. And I think the problem all along that people are probably familiar with, uh, and particularly here on Cape Cod, is when buildings are closed up, like a lot of our seasonal buildings are, uh, and with with the humidity we have in this area, we worry about sick building syndrome, which usually has to do with mold. It can also have to do with other uh, indoor air problems, um, uh, such as other infections. The flu can be spread when people get together indoors in the winter. Uh, But a lot of people are also sensitive to uh, chemicals that may be used indoors, such as paint or Mm -hmm. um, uh, poor ventilation if you have uh, gas appliances, lots of things. But But the pandemic is what really has drawn our attention to this particularly because there are some fairly uh, simple and inexpensive, at least first steps that can be done to make indoor spaces safer. So that hopefully, once we start getting back together again in groups, we'll have healthier indoor environments uh, in which to uh, get together with our various friends and and, uh, work colleagues and so forth. Right. So I know there's a lot of folks really looking forward to that, including myself. So I, I'm really looking forward to the event. Um, I have an office in a, in a commercial space, and I know they take great care in making it safe for everyone. But uh, this is definitely on everyone's minds. And we're, I can speak for the business community and the tech community. We really appreciate having folks like yourself who dedicate, you know, their, their skilled craft brain cells into uh, helping us solve these problems. So thank you. Great. Well, I look forward to it. All right, great. We'll see. Looking forward to seeing you at the event. All right. Thanks a lot.